Hi, I'm Sky Perry with SSP Innovations, and I'm here to talk to you today about one of our products called the All Edits QAQC and Report Tool. One of my favorite tools here, uh, it's really focused on helping users that use a version geodatabase. Again, versions allow multiple users to edit the geodatabase at the same time, in the same area, even the same record in many cases. Uh, and if we look at this, so an Ezra geodatabase, which many of us use uh, with a lot of versions in there. So, uh, the keys here are in, in a utility or telecom setting, we have a lot of different users editing. And one of our challenges in the QA, the quality assurance side of the geodatabase, is to ensure that the users are editing the things they are supposed to be editing and not touching anything else. So this tool is really focused on telling us who did what, when, and where did they do it as far as the editing, allowing us to review the edits ahead of time before they're posted, or now even in arrears after the edits have been posted. So let's break this down and talk about the different areas that the All Edits tool focuses on. So we have these versions. Users are editing these versions within the geodatabase on an ongoing basis. We're talking daily, maybe several versions per user per day. So the very first thing that we do here is allow for an interactive report. So an interactive report here can be run on a version before the version is posted. So if you imagine I've added some poles, some conductor, or if I'm doing gas, some gas valves, uh, some gas main, that type of thing, before this version is posted, I can run the all edits report in an interactive mode, which will show me the edits within the version. And I can see the ads in blue, I can see the deletes in red, and my updates in orange and green, including shape updates, all right within the version before it's posted. So that helps a ton. But the tool then advanced over the years to really add some additional functionality. So as we went to the geodatabase, we needed to create an all edits schema. So I'm just going to abbreviate this for all AE, for all edits. And inside of this all edit schema, we use tables and we use feature classes. The key with these tables and feature classes is that these are non-versioned. And why is that so important? As you might guess, if we're going to track your all edits over time, this can get rather large. Now we're aware of that, but by keeping them non-version, we really minimize the versioning impact to the data within the database. Uh, but on the flip side, we want to be able to keep these things and segregate them within the geodatabase. So it's its own data set, its own set of tables. Uh, so while it does grow, space is cheap, right? So we can store things. So that allows us to do a few more really cool things uh, within the geodatabase. First and foremost, in the interactive mode, if you want to save your edits off from the interactive report into the geodatabase, you can do that with the click of the button. This allows you to then go ahead and post the version interactively. The version's gone, of course, but we've saved off the edits, the ads, the updates, the deletes directly into the geodatabase so we can view them at a later point in time. But we can then take it a few steps forward. Many of our utilities are using what we call a BRP, and that really simply stands for Batch, Reconcile, and Post. Now this could be Schneider Electric's Geodatabase Manager, it could be an old custom BRP, or many clients even own their own custom BRPs that interact with the Geodatabase. Now the entire point of a BRP is to handle these versions. It handles the posting of them, most importantly, into the Geodatabase. Now again, we can only have one user posting at a given time, which is why a BRP is used. If we're posting some of the larger utilities, if you imagine post 200, 250 versions a day, it'd be way too hard to have a single user doing that, so the BRP handles that. So what can we do in the automated fashion with the all edits? The key here is that we're able to run this same BRP here on the post event, which is then going to understand the versions edits that have occurred and interactively, or I should say automatically, take those edits and put them into the all edits schema. So just as if we did it interactively, we now have a number two down here. The BRP on post can automatically pull those edits out, put them into the tables. Now we're running it unattended. So we have additional value there in an automatic fashion. So either way, we've got all your edits stored into our all edits schema, okay? So the final piece that we have that's really important is I'll just draw it out here to the side. The third most important piece of this uh, functionality is what we call the search. And report. So as we're searching and reporting, it allows us to 
interactively query the all edits tables. So we can query those on things like uh, the actual name of the version, the owner of the version, and now with some of the advanced functionality, we're able to query on actual attributes. Imagine an attribute like a financial work order, right? It's shared across many different versions within the system, across many different edits. We can now plug in that financial work order into an attribute and find any versions with any edits that have been used against that financial work order across all the versions that have either been posted or interactively run. So we can find those. The same report can then be visualized within the database and, and shown back to the user. So if you take the case here, easy to find these versions, view them, even after the post has occurred, we now have the ability to track these versions and take that case of 200 plus versions a day as those are posted, edits are extracted, stored, the versions are posted, the versions are cleared out. After the fact, we're still able to come in, do a search and report on the name, the attributes, the owner, find those versions, replay the edits so that we can see them visually and do QAQC after the fact. So it solved a very important problem, and that's again finding what, when, and where, and now it's doing it even after the version's been posted. So again, we have a lot more information on the website. Please check that out. Thanks for your time. All right, quiet on the set. Here we go. Go ahead and do a slate. All you have to do is pull that. I'll edit. Take one. So as these versions are edited, again, they're essentially a, a state in time, and we'll talk more about versioning uh, in some other videos. Sorry, let's start over. So I'm already going toward I'm doing my next one on versioning. <laughs> so again, we have a lot more information on the website. Please check that out. Thanks for your time. And cut. Beautiful. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brian. That feels good. Works for me.